to avoid the silence. And that's when I hear them. The whispers. A dozen or so all around me. And they're not just in my head. They can't be. They started last month. I first heard them one night when I was at home laying in bed. They were just so quiet and faint that they'd be drowned out by even the slightest rustle of leaves. But in complete and utter silence, I could hear them. They were asking me to go outside to the road. It was difficult not to obey them. Imagine there were ten or so people all around you whispering instructions, all speaking at the same time. I first tried to drown them out by turning on the television while I slept, but the whispering would just get louder. I couldn't escape them. They would follow me room to room. They started telling me what I needed to do to silence them, and I eventually gave in. I opened my front door and walked out to the street. Nothing happened at first. And the voices changed what they were saying. Good. Perfect. Perfect. A car squealed around the corner, driving at a ridiculous speed. I lost control nicked the side of a tree, and started rolling. The voices then went silent. I learned later that the driver was sober and didn't have a seatbelt on. He died in the accident. And based on what he had said to his family members beforehand, it was deemed a suicide. Did the voices orchestrate the event? Or did they just want me to see it? Or could it be that this was just a coincidence? I wasn't sure at the time, but I didn't hear them again for weeks. When they came back, they would sometimes explain themselves to me. I'm among the first who can hear them, they told me, but there will be many more. I've recorded some of the voices below. Most of you won't be able to hear them, but some of you will, and if you can hear them, they'll soon start following you too, and there will be nothing you can do to escape them, except to do what they say. Two weeks ago, the voices returned and started asking me to go to a specific address downtown and to just stand by a building. They told me to wait there until it happened. This is the first time I decided to record those voices. If you're one of the very few who can hear the whispering, the voices will continuously return. They won't always be there. They'll come and they'll go, but they always return. Even when I listen to this file, I can sometimes hear them, and sometimes I can't. But I advise you, please heed this warning and listen to the audio below at your own peril. It's far more terrifying than you'd think to be confronted with these voices. 
I once again tried ignoring them at first, but they just kept growing louder. They just become more intense. I couldn't stand up to them any longer, so I gave in and headed to the address downtown. When I got there, I looked above and saw a man standing about 30 stories up. There were other people arriving and looking towards him. Had they heard the whispering as well? The voices just grew louder. The man jumped, and the voices went silent. I should be clear, at this point, I'm certain these voices aren't just in my head. There's a coincidence that both times the voices led me to a suicide. But there's also the fact that I can sometimes drown them out with loud noises or earplugs. If the voices were in my head, wouldn't earplugs make the voices appear louder? No. I fully believe that there are outside voices whispering to me. And three days ago, they came back. This time, they told me to go to a downtown subway station. I was able to record them again. When I arrived at the station, I immediately saw a group of 20 people who suspiciously huddled together near the track. I joined them. I heard one of the trains approach the terminal. At that point, a man emerged from the group, holding his hands up to his ears. I need to silence them! The man screamed. He then jumped into the arriving train and pretty much disintegrated. The group around me didn't even seem phased by it, and just started walking away like nothing happened. I stopped them. You can all hear them as well, can't you? I asked. Some looked at me and appeared as though they might answer, but then they held their ears, looked away and continued walking. Had the voices spoken to them and told them to leave? I wasn't sure. I'm just not sure about so much. Where do the voices come from? What do they want? They tell me things, but they never answer my questions. I've decided to write this out and document what I hear. Maybe I'm just mentally ill. Oh, I hope that's all this is. It'd be such a relief if this were just all in my head. The voices came back today and gave me a new location. I recorded them again when I heard them. But they're getting louder, and I can't escape them any longer. They're telling me now that there's only one way to silence them forever. Otherwise, I'll never free me. They say I belong to them. And one day I can be with them. Their whispering is maddening, but also soothing. Oh, so soothing. Maybe I can whisper too. Maybe one day I'll be among all the voices when you're alone. 
Maybe the voices are leading us to a better place. And I'll meet you all there one day. In peace. Tranquility. And silence. And if you can hear them, maybe you'll see me at that location they speak of. It's an infamous location for what I'm about to do. <laughs> maybe I'll even wave before it happens. But the voices will follow you until it's your time. You'll start by avoiding the silence. And that's when you'll hear the whispers. Dozens of them now. All around you. <laughs>